today we're going to be talking about uh, the theory paper, right? So what should be the approach and what are the important topics is essentially what we will uh, discuss. How many of you are exam going here? How many of you um, are going to be appearing for the theory exam soon? So, yeah. So for those of you who are appearing immediately for the exam, I don't know how much this will help you because, uh, you know, you are you must already be on your way uh, as far as the preparation is concerned. But this can just give you some direction. So what I've done is uh, I've uh, collected the recent papers which you all have, which we also have on the app, and I've uh, uh, divided them system wise. I think that is what is lacking. Uh, papers are there everywhere, but it's not system wise. So I've just arranged the important topics of the recent years, um, you know, uh, according to the system so that you know that what are the topics which are being asked recurrently. And I and then I went way back into the past to see that is there anything which is coming even out of it. And I was surprised that almost everything is coming, you know, from the same set of topics. And, and most of these are things which we already know. You know, we have covered them, we have discussed them, and we know that they are important. So this will give you like a checklist, right? So that's what I've done. And I'll also share this PDF with you. So this is what I've done. Like system-wise, you can see all of these topics. So I'll just run through, you know, what you have to focus on. And... Uh, Use this as a checklist that, okay, I've, I've, I've you know, uh, revised them. So that's what, uh, you know, you want to uh, do. Uh, as far as what I am going to do now, uh, most of you are exam going in October, um, uh, you know, and, and November, December and so on and so forth. So next two, three uh, months, we are going to be very, very focused on the exam per se. So we we'll cover topics, you know, which we haven't covered from this list so far. So I'll, I'll discuss this with Dr. Nikita as well. Right. So what we are going to do is we we'll cover these topics uh, which, which have not been covered. So we'll do these dedicated sessions, right? Some of these don't deserve like full full, full uh, classes. So they're just like, you know, small, small niche topics. So we can cover, you know, four or five such topics. That's what both of us will do in the coming months. I, I am yet to discuss with her, but that's what I'll do. So we'll, we'll do these core, uh, you know, exam uh, preparation sessions. And uh, uh, that's the plan. As far as the theory papers are concerned, in-app, they'll also be replaced. So whatever is the material in the book, that is what will be uploaded in the app. So the existing papers will be gone. And what we have formatted and uploaded for the book, because those I have personally checked, right? So that is what we shall upload in the app also. So that's what you can go back to. So almost all of these, not even almost all of these are covered in the app. They are present as model theory answers. But you know what happens when you're just reading randomly questions and their answers? Uh, it's not very useful. I think it is useful uh, when you do it system wise, because then you have that approach that, okay, these are the topics which are done so so you know uh first do this do these topics from your uh lecture and then read the answer that they have given just to you know see that how is the answer written to that so that's uh how the approach uh should be yeah does that make sense to you so let's start with neuroradiology in neuroradio what i saw uh you know were were the most important topics were centered around stroke brain tumors and um, neurocutaneous syndromes. You had many, many questions from that. So cerebral venous thrombosis, acute stroke, intervention in acute stroke, very, very important topic. Neurocutaneous syndromes, everything we've covered, they've picked out NFN, Sturge Weber, tuberous sclerosis, sub individual questions are there. So you have to do that. CP, CP angle masses is the class that this has replaced. So uh, I'm going to take that on 27th. Okay, so 27th will be CP angle. CP angle is like uh, PCP and DT if you know it's going on postponing it's just not the right murat for that class I don't know so so I'll take it you know before your exams a question has come from this which was like oh god this this topic now so this I will take for sure so SH again goes into the territory so essentially if I have to give you you know stroke which includes everything you know arterial venous neurocutaneous syndrome, tumors, and head trauma. These remain your core 
chapters, four lectures that you need to master. Isi mein se chuta chuta here and there they have asked. So what are the niche topics that we can cover in our theory class? SH, I think Akhil is going to take up the interventional aspect also is going to take up. So something like, you know, neuroimaging in COVID-19. Now who will do this as a class, right? So this these small, small baby topics, you know, we can cover in one class, four, five. Spinal cord neoplasm is done. Torch imaging can be covered. So whatever I'm highlighting, I'm highlighting for myself that uh, Zainab, take them as in the class. Okay, so you also know that ma'am will take them. How the hemorrhage on MRI will uh, change, okay? Okay. A while, sir? <laughs> Who is the while, sir? You mean Shashank? Some people were like, he, he is very good. <laughs> Okay, but uh, fine, we can do that. Stroke is a topic which first years might not understand, actually. So maybe that's the thing. Okay, he's actually a very good teacher. He's a neuro rad uh, DM. Akhil, sir, Akhil is not teaching neuro, he's teaching I IR, right? So he would have taken intervention part of stroke, which you are anyways will not understand in the first year. So that's okay. I don't think you can criticize the faculty for that. So there's hemorrhage on MRI, spinal dystrophisms we have covered, brain herniation comes into head trauma, so that is covered. Posterior fossa anomalies we have covered in congenital anomalies. Can I add that here? So congenital anomalies well, class is also very important. Congenital brain anomalies and what you want to remember here uh, are also spinal dystrophisms, right? So those two standalone small, small classes are important. Transcranial ultrasound also sounds important, but I couldn't see any question in the recent times on that. Okay, so transcranial pe aya nahi hai Temporal lobe epilepsy and mesial temporal sclerosis. This uh, sir has covered. Gulati sir has covered in his lecture. Yeah, HI has been covered by Dr. Shashang. He has he has done a really good job. He's actually covered the the mil myelination milestones and then he has covered HI. I think that's already taken care of, but we can do a short summary. Huh. Torch I will take. Brain, CNS infections also, Gulati sir has taken uh, a pattern-based approach. But huh, I think, uh, you know, I, I'll just complete it for, for exam point of view. HI, nahi hai. HI, okay, I can cover HI. So HIV and infections in general you want, right? So this can be an independent class. So HIV will, in, will include in, you know, this class fine so we'll do that we'll do one in cns infections for next month and we'll do these small small topics so this is done now she tumors we just finished disc herniation we have covered in degenerative osteoporotic versus metastatic collapse can be just it's just a table we can go through that csf rhinorrhea i think dr deepak is taking as a dedicated session craniopharyngioma we have done cella in tumors, you know, what I found out was cella tumors are the most important. They have asked pituitary adenoma separately. They have asked craniopharyngioma separately. They have asked cellar tumors approach separately. So that chota sa cella ka class is very important. Please revise that. TB findings. So again, see, CNS infection. I think I can add this to this. That CNS infections, I can take it up as this holistic class. So this is what I'll do October first thing. So that is what we will do. Okay, all right, fine. Moving on to MSK. In MSK, two things only have been asked the majority. One is arthritis and one is metabolic bone diseases. So those two classes which I have only taken, you need to master. Usme se chota chota topic they have done, okay? So arthritis, what you have to remember? RA, angst. Okay, RA and angst from arthritis individually and approach to arthritis has also been asked. Metabolic bone disease may osteoporosis, HPOA, hyperpth, rickets, pagets, thalassemia. See, these are all individual topics. So these two classes are the most important. Bone tumors may say on osteosarcoma twice they have asked. Okay, so types of osteosarcoma, etc. So that's fine. Bone tumor is not very, very important for theory, but you know the importance of bone tumors for practical, right? Do I need to stress that? You know it. It's one sure case from bone tumors will come. As far as joints are concerned, knee pay, knee, 
I remember I also had this question and this was favorite internal derangement of knee. Anatomy of knee ligaments is very, very important. Do you want me to take uh, joints? I can at least take knee and shoulder like summary for you because those are the only two question areas. So we can do summary anatomy.